Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing video and quite a special unboxing video because this is the first time I've actually seen these products, seen the new designs and uh, had a smell and, and a spray and all that sort of thing that we do with products. So Joyco have rebranded, um, reformulated some of their styling range and uh, I have them right here. So super excited to bring this to you, the brand new Joyco styling range and there's some colours chucked in here as well to show you. So this is the first time I've seen these colours as well. With the lockdowns and, and the, the no travel, like everything, everything that's gone on, that uh, I've been restricted getting stuff to me, but also flying out to test it. So Joyco have sent me the products in a massive box and uh, I'm gonna bring them to you right now. So previously we had silver cans, silver bottles, uh, maybe like a bit of black accent in there with most of them, but they've all been sort of rebranded. Uh, like I said, some have been reformulated and I've got them right here. So we're gonna check them out, we're gonna see what they are, I'm gonna read the back so you, what, so you know what they do. There's some new ones in here that I've never tried, never seen, so super excited to, to try them out. Uh, I'll be bringing you them live tonight, Wednesday, Wednesday night live. Tonight you can catch myself in the life of Hair James Atkinson. Tonight on my channel, uh, we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be doing a colour. So yeah, we'll, I'll be I'll be having a little talk about these products as well as we will throughout the rest of the lives. But uh, yeah, let's get into today's video. Today's video is that the brand new Joyco rebranded and reformulated styling range with a few new additions that we've been craving for, they are here. I'm going to be reading the back of them and if I've tried them and used them already, which not many of them I have, but I'll refer to what I used to, the, the old products that I used to use, I'll refer what I used to use as like stylers as for what and uh, let's get into it. So first product is a staple, it is Joyco's Joy Mist Firm. So we had a Joy Mist um, and it is a dry finishing spray. So this is one of the things where, one of the styling rains where you spray it over and you don't get that sort of hairspray feeling that a lot of people don't really like. I quite like that feeling of hairspray and texture, but Joy Mist Firm Dry Finishing Spray is gonna be one of those salon hits that people just love. And uh, hold factor seven to 10. And I really like this sort of new scale. If you can see there, let's get me out of it. Come on, focus, doesn't want to focus today. So yeah, how there, it's sort of seven to 10 and it sort of fades up into what we, what we, we don't really care about with this product, but it's seven to 10 firm hold. So that is a big hold, but it's gonna be dry. And on the back, uh, dry firm hold hairspray protects against humidity and pollution, which is incredible. Uh, spray 20 to 25 centimeters from hair for all day firm hold, layer, for firmer to extremer hold. So what that means is um, spray it once, let it dry, spray it again, let it dry, spray it again, let it dry, you'll get a much, much stronger hold. Um, lab laboratory tested using pollution particles. Um, yeah, just, just the normal things like aerosol contains under pressure, may burst if heated, avoid spraying in eyes. Common sense really, but Yeah, oh yeah, the Joyco smell, smells great. So that is Joyco's Joy Mist. Next one is a firm favorite in the salon and that is Flip Turn. So volumizing, finishing spray. Oh, volumizing. So it didn't say that on the last can, I don't think. Maybe it did. But Flip Turn was always, this has got a 10 plus factor. Let's show you there. Let me get out of it. There you go, 10 plus. So this is a super, super strong hold hairspray and probably the staple in the salon that we'd go for. Um, 360 degree flash dry formula. Um, sprays from every angle to infuse hair with lush fullness while protecting against humidity and pollution. This is amazing. I don't know if it, if it said this on the last ones that it protected against frizz and pollution because we've got, well, humidity blocker and that that was for humidity and pollution, but that it, it all must have uh, been reformulated to protect against frizz and, and pollution. So that's amazing. But with it, the volumizer, I would have to check um, when I'm editing this, I'll have a look on the old can. 
if it did say volumizer finishing spray. But the thing with flip turn is it's got a different nozzle. Let's go back to Joy Mist. So Joy Mist has got that nozzle there, and then this. See the difference? So. The reason for this nozzle is because it can be sprayed, and, and that's why flip turn, that's the original thing that I got told about flip turns, that you can spray it upside down and it won't, and it won't clog. Just one of my eyes. But yeah, smells, oh, these, they smell unbelievable. None of that old hairspraying smell. None of that old hairspraying smell. None of that old hair, yeah, you get what I mean. These, they just smell great. There's none of that, remember that old hairspray smell, that's what I meant to say. The old hairspray smell that, that would just, I don't know, get in your, get in your blood and, and you'd smell it for weeks. Whereas these, these are so fresh and, and, and just a bit uplifting, like a bit, like perfumey. You could, uh, and go out. But yeah, flip turn, you can spray it 360 degrees and uh, this will never clog, which is why the nozzle's different. So, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna check if, if the old one said volumizing spray. The reason for volumizing spray is you can put your head upside down, you can turn it upside down and you can get that up in there, the hairspray, and then give it that lift. Weekend hair dry shampoo. So this is uh, Joyco's, let me get that. So Weekend Hair is a dry shampoo. It is a clear uh, spray, so you're not gonna have that powdery sort of essence and, and itchiness in your hair. Uh, this is a really fresh smell as well. For a dry shampoo, you do smell as if you've just washed your hair. It smells lush. When it first came out, I loved it. And I thought it was something that the brand, like Styling Range, needed. Uh, but extend your style for days. Instantly eliminate excess oil at the root. Shake can well, hold can eight to 10 inches. 20 to 30 centimeters away from head. Spray onto scalp and dry hair. Uh, use fingertips to brush to work through hair. So the thing with dry shampoo, and that's one of the things that people often misuse it or are miseducated on how to use it. The best time to use dry shampoo is when you've freshly washed your hair, you won't need to use as much. So this is gonna last you for ages. The can is huge um, compared to, to like cans of dry shampoo I see everywhere. Um, once you've washed your hair, dried it, before you put any sort of styling product in, um, you would just spray it into your roots, like a little sort of spray like that, massage it into your roots, and it's already sitting in there, ready to absorb the oils. Rather than get oily hair, spray it in, congeal, and try and mask it. This will, it's, it's more of like a prevention rather than a cure. So that is when you're supposed to use dry shampoo at the best time. I'll do these two together because they are a bit of a range. And these are Beat Shake and Body Shake. Two different products and something that we have had in the salon, um, same as the weekend hair, that they've been used in the salon, so these aren't any, any newer. Any newer? These aren't brand new, but they are. They've changed, so the bottles have changed. They used to be like a real shapely sort of bottle. Bottle, can, bottle. Uh, now they're I prefer it, to be honest. I prefer that. You get, looks like you get more, 250 mil. But Body Shake is a texturizing finisher and uh, plush volume for fine to medium hair. So this is something that is a, people confuse it for a dry shampoo, but there's a bit more hold in this. And does it have a hold factor? Hold factor of a three. Whereas, there's no hold factor on weekend hair. So this is a whole factor of a three. This is more, it is that dry sort of texture that you get from a dry shampoo, but you wouldn't use it as a dry shampoo. So this one says natural starch contained with texturized to provide plush thickness. That's the first time I've heard plush as a, in a phrase, I think. I'd just take, I'd remove the P and say lush. Um, and volume without leaving a white dusty residue. Shake well, spray into dry finished hair for lasting results. So spray into dry finished hair. So this is something that is, is basically the end of your styling regime. If you put your oils in, your lotions, your whatever you put in your hair, you finish with body shape to get that real plush thickness and volume. 
Uh, and let's move to Beach Shake. So Beach Shake has got a whole factor of one less of a two. And this is a texturizing finisher as well, but for tousled waves to medium to thick hair, medium to thick hair, and this is thin or fine, fine to medium hair. The difference is that Beach Shake contains a bit more of an oil, whereas this is, is a lot drier. So let's see what it says. And um, coconut and sunflower seed oils, there we go, combine with texturizers to create a modern beach wave look with a satin finish without salt. Shake well, spray lightly on dry, finished hair, and then uh, then you're ready to go. So yeah, this for for uh, medium to thick hair. So medium to thick hair, if you're looking for that sort of waved, you've got maybe if it's natural, a bit drier hair, which is why you need the oils. But if you've uh, mechanically curled it, hair dryer, straighteners, tongs, um, then you're drying out the hair anyway. So that's why you need the oils in there to, um, to add a bit more lushness to the hair. But you can hear, so a lot of Joyco's products, which was a sort of like quite obvious, other companies haven't done it that I've worked with, that you put a ball bearing in there. And that's to make sure that you're mixing up the powder and stop it from congealing and, and that you can always get a really good spray out of them. But I mean, this is probably my favorite out of both. Although I did last summer, no, last summer, were we in lockdown? Maybe the summer before, I really got into this. So Beach Shake was something where that, that real tousled look, this was the thing that I was using to finish off uh, more than this. But then I was using this a lot on guys. So I would use it to texturize guys' hair to give a bit of a uh, matter, thicker result. But with one of our new products, I'll be using that instead. So yeah, these two, we've got a brand new product. Heat Hero, Glossin Thermal Protector. Hold factor of a three. So this is the first time I've seen it. Yeah, same, same smell, a bit softer maybe. But the spray actually was softer than I thought it would be. The others are quite like, and this one was like. Um, whole factor of a three, glossy thermal protector. So you know this is glossy, it's gonna be shiny. Thermal protector, it's gonna be a heat protector. Has this taken over from ironclad? Maybe. I don't, th I don't think I've got ironclad anymore. So maybe this is the new ironclad. Um, protect hair from the mat, protect hair from the ravages of hot styling tools at temperatures up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 230 degrees Celsius. So these are massive. So hair melts at 200 degrees. So you shouldn't really be using heat, heat tools over 200 degrees because your hair can literally melt uh, like this girl. The reason that heat builds up and builds up in hair, which is why Joico have gone above and beyond for thermal protection, is because when you pass it over once, that's what? 200 degrees, 190 degrees say, depending on what you're setting, your straightening settings or tong settings at. So you pass it down once, that's it optimal. That's the heat gone all the way through. But then you see people pass it through again, and then again, and then again. And you think of that friction, the buildup of heat, the heat, the heat, that's gonna be exceeding. 200 degrees massively so we've got the protection in here to protect the hair without breaking with with and like the glossing so putting in that condition as well and like everybody should be using a thermal protector and the biggest thing for me about this thermal protector it's an aerosol so the reason i hype about ironclad i think this is the new ironclad um Aerosol, when you spray those wet heat protectors on, like pss, 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 on dry hair, and then you hear that crackle, yes, that's the heat protector burning off and protecting the hair, but it's making your hair wet. And straighteners aren't supposed to, and tongs aren't supposed to be used on wet hair. Um, because what you're doing is heating up that water, which could dry the hair up more, create breakage, which is why aerosols are the way forward for heat protection. Um, so reducing the appearance of split ends and having, sorry, and leaving hair with glossy finish. So yeah, the, the gloss in this will make your split ends uh, stick, not stick, well, not repair, but stick together maybe a bit more, uh, reduce the appearance of them because it looks glossier, shiny, you haven't got those, those dry ends. So yeah, Heat Hero is gonna be my hero. Let me be your hero. Here's a product that isn't new, but it's one that I absolutely love, and they've changed the bottle and, and everything, so hair shake. 
You can hear the ball bearing in there, and this is one of my go-to products. So liquid to powder, texturize and finisher. And it is literally, and it's a pump, so. And it smells so good. Like them all. Um, but yeah, liquid to powder, I, I use it a lot in gents hair. I wanted to create that sort of separation and, and texture. In women's hair, at the root, blow dry, give it a bit more volume. But this is a flash dry texturizing finisher, provides lasting thickness and fullness. Shake well, spray it into dry finished hair. You can spray it into wet and then and work it in and blow dry it in, but it is meant to just spray it in and then work your fingers through just to finish. But yeah, hold factor of a four. Hair shape. Firm hold design foam. So the nozzle on this is a bit Mr. Whippy, sort of. And uh, this is a, probably my favorite. I wonder if it still smells of like orange. Cause this was like my favorite mousse. Uh, and for that like, fresh sort of smell as well. It smells like oranges. I think it's changed slightly. There's still, I think it has changed. Uh, the fragrance has changed, but this is a hold factor of a seven, so a really good hold mousse. Uh, alcohol free, so it won't dry out the hair. Design foam provides the firm hold with long lasting body and volume. Shape well, hold can upside down, as you've seen I did. Um, and dispense into hand. Distribute even onto damp hair and style. So great for, sorry, great for uh, scrunching into hair, leave it to dry naturally, working through in gents hair. Mousses are massive and a lot of people don't use them because they see it as a bit old fashioned, but if you've got these new sort of design mousses, they work great in all hair types. It's just a speech of stylist, but, ah, oh, the orange is gone. It used to smell so, so fresh. I loved it, um, but yeah, I'm sure it's just gonna be a, a banger of a product. Another mousse, and this is Power Whip. Whip, cool, cool whip. Cool whip? Cool whip, yeah. You mean cool whip? Uh, whipped foam. Hold factor of a nine, so a stronger hold than that one. Um, luxurious whipped foam prevents body, prevents? Doesn't prevent, it provides. Provides body and fullness with firm yet flexible hold. Shake well, hold can upside down, and dispense into hand. Hold factor of a, of a nine, so that's a stronger hold. Probably smells the same, to be honest. Um, I just, don't you just love they just love the new packaging. Like ombre. I love it. Right, before we get into some new products again, this product is basically new because we couldn't use it for so long because there was an ingredient that was, uh, don't know, something. Something was going on with this. But it's back. Dream Blowout. Thermal protection cream. This is, this, this was, when it got launched, this was my favorite product. Uh, a real luxurious feeling uh, cream, lotion, but working it through hair and the heat protection in this exceed. well it's the same as, um, it's the same as Heat Hero. So 450 degree Fahrenheit, 230 degrees, get your dream blowout with up to 50% faster drying time and heat protection up to those temperatures. So yeah, this does speed up drying time, add a little bit of oil in there and uh, that's my sort of like cocktail of these. Uh, guards against frizz and humidity, leaves hair silky smooth, silky smooth, and shiny. Apply evenly through clean, damp hair, and blow dry. Dream Blowout, when that came out, I was obsessed. I got to try this before the launch years ago. Years ago, because of COVID. Seems like years ago anyway. Uh, over, in, over in Holland in the uh, HQ. And uh, yeah, this was just like, wow. And I'm so glad it's back. Should we have a look at a new product? I think we should. A pro this is a product that we've been screaming for, for I don't know how long. There used to be one in the Joico family structure, but it went and it's needed, needed this. Can you see it yet? No, can't see it yet. Rise up, powder spray. Spray pool? What do you mean spray? What powder works as a spray? This. Yeah, even distribution, no more tipping into hand, no more tipping into hair. Puff it in, 
work your fingers in and get that rise up. So this is for volume and texture, uh, apply to dry hair directly at the root and or throughout hair for instant volume and light texture. Do not inhale, thanks. Um, avoid contact with eyes, I think I've just done both of them. And uh, keep out of reach of children. Yes, children do not need to rise up yet. But this is a powder that we've needed for so long in Joyco and I'm so glad. I think I've got a client in tomorrow who has been screaming out for us to bring a powder back and uh, we've got it. So I'll be using that in his hair tomorrow and he'll be really happy. So next products we've got are the Zero Heat family. And what these are designed to do is just to leave in with no heat styling. Super quick, super easy, low maintenance hair styles, cuts that just need that little bit of zhuzh or little product to, to not uh, cancel out the frizz or, or anything like that. So we've got one for fine to medium, we've got one for thick air. And they're air dry styling creams, both of them. So, do they both say the same thing? Yep, yeah, skip the blow dry and look perfectly polished. The time saving cream enhances your natural texture, adds shine and fights frizz. Work a small amount through towel dried hair, scrunch and or twist to enhance texture and air dry. That is it. The Zero Heat family are great just for letting you low maintenance, scrunch it in, twist it in, let it dry naturally, add a bit of texture and go. Perfect for holiday hair. We'll bring these two up now and these are gels and gels are coming back with a vengeance because a lot of people are wanting a bit more like a wet look or a bit more hold and these are best used for me, cocktailing them. So cocktailing them with maybe Dream Blowout to add a bit more hold um, or products like that. And then we are getting Joy Gel Medium. That's a, a, a hold of a four, let me get out of the way. There you go. And then we have Joy Gel Firm with the whole factor of an eight. And the packaging is just cool. I mean, being black into gray, maybe styling it more towards the male market maybe, um, same with uh, hair shake. I think guys and like guys and girls, you can wear, you can use them all. Not wear them, use them all. But I think that the packaging is just a bit more masculine. So maybe they're they're sort of hitting that market. And these gels aren't like those wet look tub gels. These are designed. These are just a bit thicker, a bit more, yeah. And they smell great. Everything smells great. Um, but let's read it. So Joy Gel Firm Styling Gel and then Joy Gel Medium Styling Gel. So I'm taking it, they're both the same. Yeah, one just says firm hold, one says, one says medium, but versatile hold gel provides volume, control and shine. Great for wet slash dry looks. Apply to damp, dry hair and style. So it says it on both. Um, if, you, if you aren't using the gel and you want that sort of texture, not that old school texture, 90s vibes. Very, very 90s vibes and then let it dry in. You can blow dry them in because they're really quite, they're, they're very sleek we're working through, them, through wet hair as well. Just got a lot more hold. So yeah, that's the gels. So this is Humidity Blocker Plus. It's gone up, I think, a level or two in holds. This is a hold factor of a three. I think the old one was a, was a two, maybe. Uh, it's a protective finishing spray and I would use this literally on everybody. Uh, guys, girls, uh, really soft, brushable hairspray. Um, Fights frizz, but now they all fight frizz and pollution. Like there's going to be a real fight to see which one is is my go-to spray for finishing. But humidity blocker, just being able to scrunch it in and uh, like even mixing it with something else. But to flat iron over this or to to tong over this is is just like a dream. Your hair just smooths through. It's it's incredible. So what humidity blocker does is it blocks out humidity to help fight frizz while protecting hair from pollution, which is what they all do now, which is amazing, and leaves hair with a glossy finish. Uh, spray 25 to 25 centimeters from hair, uh, and yeah, just goes into all of the flammable stuff. But yeah, this has changed. Let me see, has fragrance changed? Fragrance has changed. So they've changed the fragrance in, in most of them. The other one spray, uh, smelled quite uh, aftershavey, whereas this is just a real soft, uh, smell. If I can compare it to what it smells like at the minute um, that you'll be using, I suppose zero heat. I don't know. It smells great though. But yeah, humidity blocker is here plus extra hold and it fights against humidity uh, and adds a gloss finish. Whereas the old one was a little bit drier, so maybe 
Where is it? Joy Mist dry finishing spray. That might be my winner now. But that's got a hold of seven to ten, whereas this is three. So I don't. I'm not a big fan of like loads of hold. I love to like. Um, I love the hair to be movable and everything. So humidity blocker is like my go-to, but I'm looking forward to trying Joy Mist with its seven to 10 hold. Now this range is actually on my lives on Wednesday night with James Atkinson for Joyco. We bring you education every Wednesday night and uh, we are giving away this. So this is the new colorful range, which is the new shampoo, conditioner and a Glow Beyond Anti-Fade Serum for instant shine and UV protection. So this is brand spanking new. This takes over from Colour and Jaw, and what it is, the reason, so I've seen on Facebook recently, people are like, oh, well, what's the difference between colourful and colour therapy? So colourful is designed to stop the fading of the bigger molecules in the, in the colours that we use. So when it comes to sort of the vivids, purples, reds, coppers, intensities, they've got a much bigger molecule, which then it can fade a lot quicker because the molecule's bigger, doesn't go as deeper, so it runs off the hair quicker. This is why Joyco formulated Colourful and Colour and Jaw back in the day to fight against losing that bigger molecule to keep it locked into the hair. So yeah, that's Colourful and the smell just smells great. They all smell great. I've said that I don't know how many times, but I'm looking forward to seeing this. So we're going to be trying these and I'll bring you some in salon uses as well to show you what, what's going on. But yeah, smart release as always. So let me just read a little bit to see what is in here. So formulated with camellia oil, pomegranate fruit extract. Uh, this nourishing conditioner helps restore shine and smoothness while protecting the longevity of color treated hair. Applied to clean damp hair, leaving for one minute and rinse. That's the conditioner. Uh, the shampoo, I don't know why I did it that way, but it's SLS and SLES sulfates free. Uh, formulated with camellia oil and pomegranate fruit extract. This rich shampoo gently cleanses and nourishes to help protect the longevity of color treated hair. Apply to wet lava rinse, follow with colorful conditioner. And then we've got the new uh, Glow Beyond Serum. Uh, formulated with camellia oil, pomegranate fruit extract. This lightweight serum instantly boosts color vibrancy, helps add color protected treatment from hair, in hair from UV damage. Apply one to two pumps to damp or dry hair, style as usual. So with that, you can use that for all sorts of colors. So whether you've got brown, brunette, uh, balayage, blondes, um, anything like that that you want to really protect your color, but it's designed specifically for the billa mo billa? bigger molecules of color so they don't rinse out the hair as quickly. So yeah, that is, that is the brand new products. And I said there were some colors in here. I'm just gonna do a little sneak peek and I'm gonna have a go with them and I'll bring you that video at a later date. But I hope you like all the styling range. Let me know in the comments down below if you're using it, if you've used it, what is your favorite? What have I used on you in the salon if you've ever visited me? I'd love to know um, and what are you excited to see because uh, I can't wait to use them all. So these are the new colors, if you can see. Check out my next video and I'll go into these further so you can see. I'll even have some, hopefully, some examples of it so you can see what the colours look like. But that is the Joyco styling range, as is. Brand spanking new. Check it out. Check out the new products. All the products are linked down in the description below if you want to pick any up. And let me know. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Comment down below. And I'll see you on the next video.